So here's something exciting. People kept commenting on this Kia Cerato that I'm driving this week as though it were a really expensive car. Ooh, what's that you're driving? What have you got this week, they say. Comments usually reserved for cars not under $25,000 like this one. The Cerato has had a makeover for 2019 and I'm in the Cerato Hatch Sport, which is second from the bottom of the range. It competes with cars like the Mazda 3 and the Toyota Corolla. Here's how it performed over seven days with my family. First up, we all fit quite comfortably. I don't know where we got the idea from that families need giant SUVs and that you won't fit in a regular car anymore. But guess what? We used to and we still do. There's enough leg and head space in the front and my children had enough room in the back seat. Granted, they're only little, they're five and seven, but still I'm sitting back here, I'm 161 centimeters and I have a heap of space. Yes, sure, SUVs are more convenient when it comes to doing seatbelts up for kids in the back seat. Just bending down in a regular car is not ideal every day, but as far as regular cars go, this has a really good amount of interior space. Styling inside is fairly basic, but this car retails for around $24,000 drive away, which is a pretty sensational price. So you're not expecting opulent luxury. And it still has things like a leather steering wheel, which is so unexpected in this model. The seats are fabric and they do feel a tiny bit scratchy on bare legs, but as the week wore on, I kind of stopped noticing and it was just comfy driving. <laughs> The center console is well designed and look, there are a few more buttons than you'd see in other cars, but there's something to be said for old school buttons and knobs. They're a shortcut and they just work. Up front, you'll find two cup holders, plus a spot to stash keys and a phone. There's a pretty decent sized center storage bin and you'll get a bottle holder in each door. Rear passengers get two cup holders, but there are no air vents back here. And look, normally I complain about that, but the air from the front was so strong this week and I drove it on a very hot Sydney summer week. My kids actually got out of the car with cold arms after only five minutes, so they were getting lots of air. The boot is also spacious with enough room for a pram and you'll also be able to fit groceries and school bags on top of it as well, which is pretty good for a small car because some small SUVs don't even fit this pram. It's a particularly bulky pram and it won't fit in a Mazda CX-3. So the fact that it fits in here is pretty good. The exterior is where the Serato shines because as I mentioned, I got quite a few comments on the car this week. People thought I was driving something really flash, not a budget friendly Kia. It's sleek and sporty and it just looks great on the road. Driving in the Serato Sport is a fairly standard experience. There's nothing to complain about, but there's nothing to shout about either. There's a two litre engine, which is plenty enough to get you up hills quickly and coast along highways. It handles quite nicely and it goes over bumps pretty smoothly. The steering's also easy to turn, which makes parking and doing U-turns really easy. Parking is actually a breeze because of the size of the car when you're comparing it to a large SUV. It's easy to fit into parks. It's got a reverse parking camera to help you out. Fuel consumption is a claimed 7.4 litres for every 100 k's you drive, which is actually getting on the high end for this category. It's more than a Ford Focus or a Toyota Corolla. Safety in the Serato Sport is good. You'll get airbags for driver and front passenger, plus side curtain airbags that extend to the back row. You'll also get, as standard, auto emergency braking, which is great, but to get that with pedestrian and cyclist detection, you will need to either upgrade or buy the $1,500 safety pack. With that pack also comes other more advanced safety features like blind spot monitoring, lane departure alerts, and rear cross traffic alerts. It does come with two Isofix points for kids car seats and three top tether points. If you're concerned about technology, fear not because the Serato has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's just the easiest technology to use because you plug your phone into the USB point and your phone's main apps appear on the multimedia screen up here, which just means that you can instantly use things like Maps and Spotify. You can even use voice control to make calls and send text messages. 
for what it is, the Kia Cerato Sport delivers seriously good value for the price. The exterior looks fantastic, the inside has loads of space, it drives really well and it also has lots of boot space. I gave it a family rating of 7.5 out of 10, taking points off just for the interior styling. My kids also gave it a 7.5, they love red cars. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel or click through to our website.